Uh, I suppose for the record of the House, just to declare, I have an interest in the sector. I am the acting voluntary chairman of Quebec and Racecourse. I um, would fit into Senator Boyton's category of horse breeders with one brood mare. Sorry, I should point out it's now four minutes for speech. Uh, I fit into the category of breeder with being the owner of one brood mare and her offspring, which I could call very slow horses. But I have a severe and serious interest in the sector. And I take exception to some of the remarks made here today, while I know they were made in good faith and with the best of intentions for the sector. Um, they, they, they seem to be all related to the animal welfare side and all seem to emanate from the famous primetime programme. While I cannot and would not justify anything that was on that programme, there were a rogue element. 99.9% .9 of animal owners, horse, or greyhound would, and I would stand accused of this in my own house, of treating them better, having more time for them, and certainly spending more money on them than I do on the humans who live in that house. And I'm not alone in that. And I think it's very unfair that those good owners and trainers and animal lovers are hard with the one brush. Now, as a result, and I want to compliment Senator Riley, I can see exactly where she's coming from. She spoke eminently. Politically, we won't agree on the issue, but there won't be the breadth of a cigarette paper between us when it comes to dealing with animal welfare issues during the term of the next government. On the back of the programme, the famous programme that keeps getting quoted, we had numerous meetings and inquiries, and Minister, you were on the committee with me in the last term in the Agricultural Committee. The Greyhound Racing Act was introduced. It has, been given, it has to be given a chance to come to fruition. Board and gone is the word of time, now RCE, were before the committee. They changed their governance. They changed their input into how they were dealing with animal welfare. They are introducing a traceability system, which is long overdue and probably should have been there before, but it is coming now. And it will be comparable to the bovine traceable system, which works 100%. You can trace your calf from birth right through life to death. One group who never got a mention here today, and I'm not going to go down the side of the jobs and the industry because they're all facts, and without them, rural Ireland would be dead. There are two groups who never got a mention here today, horses and greyhounds. They are natural racers, jumpers, runners. What do we do? if we don't continue with these industries and we don't support the industries and we don't love the animals and train them and mind them to do what they were born to do, what is their natural, in their natural DNA. Putting a greyhound a pen behind a house or running around a garden is not enough. A greyhound is born, it's in his DNA, or his or her nature, to run, to race, to actually hunt. A horse is the same. We stand them in the field and look at them, it's in their DNA to run, to race, to jump. And once they are minded, once the husbandry is correct, which as I say it is with 99.9% .9 of the people who have them, that's what the horse and greyhound want to do also. And I fully support the funding. And I would just ask you two questions, Minister. The additional funding is COVID related. It's vitally important you work with HRI and the greyhound people, that that money filters down to the people who suffered most through the COVID. And they will be the small breeders, the small trainers, the small owners, who, the, the, the breeders who can't sell their horses now because the sales were moved to England because that's the market. The second question I want to ask is related to Brexit and animal welfare within Brexit. The tripartite arrangement was, was, was mentioned. I hope that it still stands after Brexit is negotiated. But what we're hearing on an ongoing basis, irrespective of the outcome of Brexit, we're going to have long queues at our ports. The transportation of horses in particular, the thoroughbred, the, 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 they're a very finicky animal out of their environment, we have to try and involve a slip lane for the transportation of livestock and bloodstock through our ports if we do witness the delays which are being predicted. Thank you Don't very much, Senator Daly.